Hello, everybody. Uh, quick disclaimer here. I don't recommend doing anything I did to this car in this video. It was a bad idea. Don't do it. Don't do it to your car. Don't do it to your ex-wife's car. Don't do it to your sisters, brothers, uncles, mothers. Don't do it to anybody's car. It, it's a bad, bad idea. Okay. But I like to party. Okay, we're good. We're getting somewhere now. Normally, with the uh, attachment that I have to pull these bearings with, it'll normally pull the rollers out of the shell first, and then you got to put them back in here. You got to put it back in, tighten it up more, and it'll catch the uh, race. That's really the first time I've ever used it that the bearing came out without taking it apart first. But again, that's a proto slide hammer with a proto attachment. I guess you could just uh, eBay proto part uh, tools if you might find something. So this is a Mac S14A brake tool. I don't know if that number is even still the number. And then Mac uh, S13B spring tools I'm gonna take these off and clean them but uh, I figured I'd show you it's taking it apart I'm, I'm not gonna show cleaning this because you're not supposed to do that so for safety goggles Nothing like brake dust and grease. Normally, if all you were doing was taking the brakes off, you uh, you'd be done. You know, if you want to, so you could clean it up from there, and and you'd be okay. Uh, I'm replacing the parking brake cables because I bought a new I bought a new kit, which is something that I rarely ever do is buy new parts, but. I'm not sure that I can. Took that out when I put that backing plate on that rear end. So, uh, all right, I'll show you in putting it back together. I cleaned everything the uh, best way I could. I took uh, gas and I went through more brake cleaner than I wanted to but uh, 
you just got no idea how bad these were. Anybody else notice what I forgot? Why didn't you say nothing? You should have said something. If you'd have said something, then I wouldn't have went this far. I have uh, that part hooked up up front then that'll that'll be pulled tighter than that but that drum is as clean as I could get it it's so hot you can't even touch it I can feel the heat coming off of it that's just one of these but uh, There's a good possibility that for a pretty good long time, I'm going to be having problems with brakes occasionally catching and dragging and stuff and having to take it back apart and clean them. But uh, if it does it too often, I'll buy uh, new brake shoes again. But uh, those aren't really even wore in yet and I think those were uh, pretty good brake shoes I got them on clearance so the next thing I'm going to do is uh, drive that bearing in I'll show you that I'll show you putting the axle back in it I'll show you cleaning the axle up and all kinds of stuff let's uh, look here real quick though that's the passenger side. I mean, driver's side. I gotta clean that axle and I gotta sand it, polish it. Might make. Uh, a few of them is cringe. <laughs> I 
<laughs> that big enough? See, the way they work is there's a sealed bearing. No grease gets in there normally. Whatever grease is in it right now is supposed to be the grease that it runs with for the life of the bearing. And the whole purpose of running it further out like that is it runs the bearing where it hasn't previously ran. That should work. I had to uh, drive the clip in it. Just it wasn't binding against it. It's just uh, going in at a slight angle. Because how these. Uh, bearings are uh, out further you have a little less room but I think that'll be fine okay I showed you everything over here I figure I'll end the video here uh, the next video, I'll kind of just gloss over this side and uh, show you and cleaning some stuff and stuff. Once I get uh, the rear end back together, I'll uh, start on the fuel tank on the next video too. So I hope you just liked the video and uh, please remember to like comment and subscribe for more and I'll see you again next time. Bye.